Can safely say I did not expect to see a security guard twerking in a puddle of his own blood, but uh, yeah, just, just stop that. Oh my God. <laughs> stop, stop, make it stop. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And once again, it's been a few weeks since we played this game, but I've been told by a lot of people that there are now a bunch of new interesting workshop levels available. So I figured today we would return to punch, kick, and purple nurple our way through them. Our first level is called Nightwalker. I had so much fun playing the stealth level last episode that I really wanted to find another one, but I don't think anything is going to top the one that we tried out last time. But once again, we get to pick a katana, obviously, because what else would you pick? And we're going to sneak our way in... Ooh. Watcha! Oh, 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 okay. Didn't mean to make him suffer. Not exactly stealthy. So we need to... Pick off all of these bars, very stealthy. This guy is listening to some serious tunes. To have me decapitate a person slowly behind him, break off a bunch of metal bars, and then kick his head at him. What, what are you listening to? If I take, you see, this guy is just completely entranced. I'm doing weird stuff to your friend back here. Excuse me, sir, you're, do you feel a little bit wet in the corner of your, oh, okay. Okay guys, I know that this is supposed to be a stealth level, I'm making a let's play here, it's all for the funnies, but I need to do a quick public service announcement because this is what happens when you meme too hard. Okay, they're all gonna hit you at once and you're gonna end up a vegetable like this guy, so we might as well just put him out of his misery. There you go, he's in a better place now. So stealthy. What are you guys doing? Just hanging out? <laughs> I mean, oh, okay, not, not so, shh, shh, shh. Don't wanna notify the other guy, what is he doing? Just, uh, leaning all seductively. Don't mind me, just grinding up on your butt. Grind it a little too hard, but you know what? I don't think he's, ah! This isn't, ah! <laughs> Not exactly the stealthiest right now. Oh God, we got more memers over here, people. Just gotta get it done. Ooh, we can go up there. That seems kind of stealthy. What if we, what if we do this? Oh. Oh, I, oh, well, this guy's just maintaining eye contact with me. <laughs> Staring contest. He broke eye contact, so he loses. Ow, ow, what the hell? What are you guys, what's wrong with you guys? Everybody else doesn't really care. Uh, oh, yeah, don't, don't go for the shotgun. You really don't need legs to work a shotgun, do you? What is going on in this place? I'm not totally sure what the scenario is. It, it kind of looks like a police thing, or maybe some kind of guards, but they're not the brightest, right? They're maintaining strong eye contact, but something about shadows just confuses them. What if I, eh, yeah, you see, didn't didn't really figure it out. Oh, I want my katana back. Well, I guess we're not gonna be super stealthy for moving on. <laughs> oh, what? It doesn't have any shots in it? Oh, uh, well, you know, that was kind of worth it. <laughs> Very rarely do you slice somebody that way in this game. That looks great, ew. How many licks to get to the center of a cop's head? What are you doing? Uh, ow, okay. Whoa! This thing is cool. Ow, ow, no, what the, what the hell? I can't even see anything. He picked up my katana! Okay, thank you. I was just trying to figure out what the disco ball is. Okay, you know, ah, God, I'm gonna have a seizure, sir! I'm having a seizure! What's out here? Okay. This is why you open a door and then you look in this game. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up in the nether void. Okay, so I think, yeah, only one person left, and watcha! <laughs> got him! I think I got him. That's, uh, zero. How do I leave? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do! Okay, cool level! Not as cool as the last one, still stealthy. I like the fact that people are starting to use light and shadows to determine where an enemy will see you or not. I still feel bad for the memer, though. This level is called Ultimate Ninja Revenge, and it's one of the highest rated and downloaded levels on the workshop. Um, I think if I take that out, you might bleed to death. Yeah, he, he's telling me not to take it out. I kinda need it. There's nothing else going, no, I know, there's nothing else going on out there. Okay, just don't move, don't move. You see, I'm good. Why are you still doing this? Do you want me to put it back? Ooh, whoops. If anybody asks, he sneezed too hard and pooped himself. Oh, 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 calm down. I don't know how I'm a ninja or what revenge I'm getting, but I just want to take a look around. This is kind of cool. 
like a little like ninja village going on. Very quiet, very ominous. Lots of uh, people getting diced up. Whoa, whoa. Calm down, Mr. Nunchuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just bashed that guy. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Are you, you're, you're all right? Your friend just knocked you out. I, I killed him for you. You're welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Rude. Again, this kind of feels like a stealth level because I'm walking up behind people and chopping them in half. Not a whole lot of combat, just a lot of killing. Uh, how am I supposed to get up here? Can I just make this jump? Oh, I can. Of course I can. I'm a ninja. What was I thinking? Bork. Ninjas don't go bork, do they? I feel like that's Swedish chefs, but we'll, we'll work with it. I saw a guy smoking. That's dangerous for your health, sir. Put it down. There you go. Do you feel better? Your legs feel better. Na, 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 na. Hi, I like your necklace, but I'm gonna have to, oh. Um, can I have that katana back? I really needed that. Should I take that as a no? I'm gonna take that as a no. I don't understand why people are so mean here. Like I showed up and the first thing I did was help somebody and then everything after that was with good intentions. Now I just need to help more people. So I need to get up there somehow. What's going on over here? Very dark level. Oh, there's some people sleeping. Are you okay? Are you feeling all right? Do you have a headache? Do you feel better? That's how they used to fix it in the olden days. Yeah, you see, now he's up and at him. Chalk one more up to the helping hand. I'm like the headache fairy. I just come around at night and, and help people. Little girls and boys with their headaches. Who would have guessed? There we go, this should work as well. Last one. They call me ibuprofen for a reason. Are we good in here? Oh no, we got the, uh, the king, the head, oh baby. Now you must have a real migraine going for you. We'll, we'll get that fixed up right away. Some people wonder how I can speak absolute nonsense when playing this game, and I think it's the only reason that I still play this game. Otherwise, I would have gotten very bored of it very quickly, but I just enjoy commentating over it. It's just such a ridiculous, silly game. I mean, I'm a ninja walking around uh, helping people with their headaches. These guys clearly had headaches, and now they don't. Now let's be perfectly honest, being the headache fairy doesn't always pay the bills. I'm also a volunteer firefighter, and you see, that's dangerous. That's why you just can't have open fires like that. So I'm gonna have to, whoa, okay. I'm just gonna have to put this out, all right? Does anybody have anything that I can use to put this out? A lot of blood, blood wouldn't really work. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen somebody catch fire in this game. That was kind of awesome. Three left. Come out, come out where, ooh, wherever you are. Hey, fatty, what are you up to? You seem to be the only guy here without a headache. You're just brushing your teeth at your table? Sit down. <laughs> this game is so bucked. If you hit people hard enough, they make two heads. It's the headache fairy, man. I'm, just, I'm not even used to my own powers. Guessing there's probably somebody in here, and then we're done. There we go. And a one, and a two. That cut off very quickly. Level complete, I thought I died somehow. No, we're good. Cool level, I felt like a ninja, I felt like I got revenge, I felt like a volunteer firefighting headache fairy. Great. Our next level is called The Heist, and this is one that I've been saving. I've wanted to play this one for quite a while because it's been the number one downloaded and played level for a long time. I, I think it keeps changing every now and then with Skyrim, with some other levels that we've played, but it's always been up there. Always five stars. People always say that it's awesome. So it looks like we are rolling up in our truck. We're uh, gonna get our weapon of choice and then we're gonna roll out and we need to rob a bank, which is great. I love any kind of role playing in this game. Okay. I, I guess, you know, sometimes even Boxers and chefs have to show up in the middle of work to do a little banking. I should mention that this is a multiplayer level. I'm only one person, so I might not be able to actually complete this. Uh, let's just take a look around. What is, oh. That's uh, not how you use a urinal, sir. That seems kind of unsanitary. I mean, don't get me wrong, I probably shouldn't judge somebody for praising their pet urinal, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not really interested. I get the feeling if I go back there, people are gonna be upset, and that's all I've really got. My friends have not come with me. You look like you're eyeballing me for some reason. Is it because I just walked into a bank with a mace? Is that suspicious at all? No? Okay, I'm gonna go talk to the urinal guy again. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go back here. If they freak out, they freak out. Apparently not. I'm just gonna take this money. 
I'm just gonna throw this money out the window into the truck. Close enough. Not the very, you know, best, safest, most secure bank, but I, I can appreciate what's going on back here. Uh, we have a guy drinking with his friend, the Apple. We got a very large looking businessman. Oh yeah, we're just, oh, okay, yeah, now, now they're upset. I, they, they don't wanna watch me count the money. Ah, oh, there's a downstairs. <laughs> what's going on down here? Ooh. Okay, we got some safety deposit boxes that I would like to get into. Hello. Uh, okay, I think this is gonna be my rage cage. I'm just gonna set up shop here, and if anybody would like to make a deposit, bring it on. Sir, I know the music cut in, but it's very inappropriate to dance in a bank, so if you could just stop, that'd be great. Oh, great, here we go, security guy. Hey, I know where your hands have been, sit down. Rage cage is going about as well as I would have expected. Sir, I said no dancing. Can safely say I did not expect to see a security guard twerking in a puddle of his own blood, but uh, yeah, just just stop that. Oh my god. <laughs> stop, stop, make it stop. All of his little bits are twerking now. It's freaking me out. Okay, <laughs> I need to get out of the rage cage. I can't have old man twerking bits all over the place. Uh, you guys really don't want to let me out, do you? Can I borrow that? Thank you. Does this guy have an apple lodged in his face? Because I'm pretty sure he does. Can I have that? Did he drop it? It's hard to tell what's an apple and what's his blood. Okay, you should not get back up, Mr. Oh my God, it is too. Uh, okay, magical apple. No, no magical apple sorcerers in my rage cage. In what other game would you get to beat a magical apple sorcerer to death with a martini glass? This is why I love paint the town red. Because stuff like this always happens. No, go away, stop that. I don't know why there's a tire iron in a bank. Hey, look who's actually doing their job. Not doing it well. Let's be honest, it's not a big deal that he's dancing slash dead. Because I would have pulled a joker, right? I have to kill them as soon as I can finish the level, so I'm gonna be taking all of the heist money here. Why is he hitting people with a green ball? Whoa, okay. You good? I think he's good, where'd green balls go? There's apparently three people left, but I don't know where. Crappers are empty. I haven't been upstairs yet. How do we get up so, oh, hey. Uh, well, you're not really interested in fighting anybody, and I'm not really interested in fighting you. Why don't we just let you hang out there for a little bit? I don't think he counts as three people. He could. We'll take a quick look around. Ah, here we go. Here's the upstairs. Who's, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not great. Whoa, now we can talk to that big guy. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. This has got to be like some kind of head CEO or so. Hey, there you are. I knew. I'll Great, okay, you know what? No more lines, I've been waiting long enough. So I wanna diversify, okay? I want a tax-free savings, I want an RRSP, I don't want to invest. Invest all of it, I said invest, not in whores. Of course they're hiding his shotgun somewhere. Okay, so there was a very large, burly gentleman that wanted to have a word with me. Actually, he didn't really wanna have a word with me. He wanted to just lean on his wall and enjoy his day, but I need to get out of here with the money, and you're not gonna let me leave with the money, so I'm gonna shoot you in the dick. And right in your big square nipples. <laughs> Are we good? I think we're good. <laughs> kind of unnecessary, but so is kicking people's arms around. Yay, we're rich. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. As always, I love playing this game. It's so ridiculous, I always just have such a laugh with it. I can't play very often because there aren't that many levels and I feel like it gets a little bit repetitive. It's like I said, it's the kind of game where the gameplay is all right. If you've seen enough of it, you get a little tired of it, but I just love commentating over it. I feel like I'm actually being funny sometimes, which is a rarity. So hope you guys are still enjoying Paint the Town Red. As always, if you have any recommendations for levels, leave them in the comments. And after a couple of weeks, once there are a bunch of new levels, I'll be sure to return. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.